Aries, hi, how are you? Welcome to your love reading from December 15th through the 31st. Oh man, okay. Um, so to start off with, welcome to your sidereal reading. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please go to Astro Cafe and uh, figure out your sidereal or Vedic signs. Uh, Western astrology is just incorrect. So I operate under the, um, the Vedic and sidereal system. Um, I'm still learning though, so I'm not I'm not an expert, but yeah, <laughs> we'll learn together. Okay, um, this this reading is not going to resonate for everyone. If it doesn't, please check your other signs, and uh, or check out one of the other of thousands of amazing uh, YouTube tarot readers out there. There's so many of us. Okay, all right, let's get, let's get started. So, sorry, my nose itches and runs every time I start channeling. So, oh my goodness. Oh, okay. I'm totally fine and then I turn on the camera and my nose is like Meh. so okay what we have for you the areas I am picking up on you are currently in a challenging situation with your person um, we have you as the eight of wands we have your person as the nine of wands very interesting sequential cards and then for the overall outcome we have the two of cups there's a lot of love here now, in the past, we have you as the Four of Cups. You were bored, burdened. Your person loved you, loved the life they were living with you, but they were a little cold and logical for you, I think. Past outcome, we have the Strength card. I think you left. If you didn't leave physically, you left emotionally or energetically. Now I say that because in the present moment we have you as the Seven of Swords. This is the sneaky getting away with it. This is also strategy and cunning though. I think you were unhappy in the situation and you left and in some fashion because in the present moment we have your person as the Three of Swords. They're heartbroken, they're devastated. They no longer have you. In the outcome for that, we have, we got two cards and I took, the, I take this as one for each of you. They were the hanged man, they didn't know what to do and you had hope and vision for your future. I don't think you really see this person as a part of it. They were just too cold, they were too kings of swordsy for you. Now, in the future, we have you as hanging on. Four of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. We have you as hanging on to this, to that feeling that you had while you were with them. I think you felt alone because they were not giving to you emotionally. In the future, we have your person came out as a challenge, the hermit. Um, sideways is, is, a, is known as a challenge in tarot. So they're deciding whether they should come out of hiding or not. I think they're still kind of beat up about how they should go about it. Future energy, we have the Six of Cups. I think both of you are reminiscing on the past. I think you are looking at it realistically and you're like, I wasn't happy there. And they're looking at it like, F, I really messed that up. Past overall, we have the High Priestess using your intuition, but it's still sad. It's, still, it's always sad when something ends, but I think you are looking at it like, I just wasn't happy. And maybe you didn't know how to tell them. Future energy, we have the sun. Happiness. After healing. Okay, I think this could still work. And I feel energetically like this person is going to come forward and tell you that. Now, what's interesting is your oracle card, if I can figure out where I put it. Here we go. This, uh, number 21, uh, so 22, um, clean it up. What this card means is cleaning up your energy or your space. <clears throat> but it also speaks to not taking responsibility for other people. So the universe isn't asking you to take responsibility for your person's actions. They're asking you to, to take responsibility for your actions. Each person needs to take responsibility for what the baggage that they brought into the relationship and how it manifested physically. So there is a need for both of you to kind of take a hard look at the situation and be like, yeah, I checked out at this point. Yeah, I checked out at this point. 
I, I need to do that better. Let's figure out how to work better together, okay? So that is where we're at energetically. Um, let's take some messages from your person just to kind of see where they are, okay? So we are going to, not that dark, I don't want that one. I want this one. This is the Untold Messages of the Heart. Um, your song, by the way, your channel song, was We Could Have It All by Pink. Messages for Aries, please, from their person. Messages for Aries from their person. Okay, we got one, let's try to get two more. Messages for Aries, please. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries, please. Thank you. Okay. So we have rejection. I'm uneasy about myself. I don't know if I can truly make you happy. Man, does that resonate with this reading. And then we also have surrender. I can't be apart from you much longer. I keep being drawn back to you and I can't quite explain why. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Oh my God, I'm overthinking everything. What will everyone else think? King of Swords, man. King of Swords energy. You might be dealing with an air sign or someone with heavy air in their chart. And then top of the deck we have, my heart is opening and I'm ready. Bottom of the deck we have, first. You are the one, the only one. Oh, Aries, this person is feeling this separation. Holy crap. Okay. All of those, all of those messages really resonated with this reading. I'm really happy with how, with how that turned out. Okay, let's pull from another deck. Let's see if they have anything else they want to say, because we're only at seven minutes so far, so. Okay. Hmm throat chakra. <coughs> Messages for Aries, December 15th through the 31st. Messages for Aries, please, December 15th through the 31st. Thank you. Well, they got a lot to say. I see a little part of you in everyone that I meet. I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. The thought of you still does things to me. Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? I love this card. It is the most beautiful card in this deck to me. I will come back for you. Top of the deck, you are special to me, even though I told you otherwise. Bottom of the deck, I'm really bad at commitment. They're trying. They're really trying. They're trying to see the error of their ways is kind of the feeling that I'm getting. All right, let's take a look at, um, yeah, let's end things here. We will do the spell casting deck to see what you should be focusing on at this time. Messages for Aries, December 15th to the 31st. That was quick. We have home. Focusing on your home. Strength. We got This is the second time we've had the strength card. You have the strength, the inner, the inner strength to get through this. We have protection. Financial health. Family. Family. Inspiration. Brings peace. I feel like the universe is asking you to focus on this connection right now and to focus on at least the home feeling that you had with this person. I want to pull from Romance Angels. I think we need it. Tell us what is coming for Aries December 15th through the 31st. Tell us what is coming through. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's too many. I'm not taking all those. Okay. Messages for Aries. December 15th through the 31st. What is coming in for Aries, please? What is coming in for Aries? What is coming in for Aries? Aries. 
messages for Aries, please. Wow. Messages for Aries. Nope. Messages for Aries, please. Messages for Aries. Shut up. Jeez. So the first two cards you got was getting to know each other. Wedding, the situation involves marriage. You could be married to this person or have been in the past. Very soon, reconciliation. It's up to you though. Top of the deck, we do have unrequited love. You may choose to move on. In the bottom of the deck, we have let your friends help you. This is calling in your spirit team, your ancestors, archangels. Um, if you're a star seed, calling in your star family calling in the higher powers to help you figure out what to do. Future outcome, we have the Six of Cups, which is both of you um, reminiscing about the past. We got reconciliation. Yeah, just the one. Okay, we have that. Should we pull? Let's see. Okay. Will Aries be hearing from their from their person? Will Aries be hearing from their person? December 15th through the 31st. Will Aries be hearing from their person? Will Aries be hearing from their person? Knight of Swords, dude. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, let's pull some advice. Let us get some more advice. I have so many decks out, oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna pull from the Angel Oracle, or Angel, Angel Oracle, interesting. I don't even have a deck like that. <clears throat> Animal, Animal Spirit Oracle. Messages for Aries, please. Guidance for Aries, December 15th to the 31st. Thank you. Messages for Aries, thank you. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries, please. Messages for Aries, thank you. Another card about peace, interesting. Okay. So we have Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Porcupine Spirit, time for beginner mind. Oh, this is number 48, breaks down to a 12. And then we have another 21, and it's also a peace card. Look up the number 22, or four, whatever whatever is drawn to you. Look up that number. Um, it's Dove Spirit, be peace. It's another peace card. You know, that Oracle card that we originally pulled, a big message in that is... Um, like coming to terms with things, like being at peace on your end, but also like bringing peace into the home. Clean it up, right? There's something to think about. Maybe coming toward this with less swords, more cups, just something to think about. That could also be a message for your person because I think they are heavily air dominant and it can be like pulling blood from a stone, trying to get emotion out of an air sign. I know. <laughs> uh, okay, Aries. I think the ball is in your court. This person is going to come back offering reconciliation. I think they really want to work on things because they really love you and they don't want to let you go. It's going to be up to you. Use your intuition. Happy manifesting. Bye.